Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and today I'm going to show you a very fun technique for letter pressing this cork. And I'm going to be using the Lifestyle Crafts and We Are Memory Keepers Label It Kit. These are a couple of my favorite shapes from that Label It Kit, but I'm going to be using that circle one there. There's also some really cool versatile shapes in that kit as well. And this garden letterpress printing plate is from Lifestyle Crafts and We Are Memory Keepers as well, and I'll be using that in this project. So I'm going to start out with this 6x6 piece of white cardstock. Now any cardstock would work for this, but my card base is going to be white, so I'm going to use white cardstock. And I have a piece of this die cuts with a view adhesive backed cork. Now this cork is really uh, pliable and bendable, which is great for the letter pressing, but I'll show you later why I chose to add the cardstock backing to this cork because it, it really does need a little extra weight for this technique. So I'm just peeling off the backing to that adhesive backed cork and I'm going to put it right on top of that piece of white cardstock. Now you can see that one there is doesn't have the cardstock back and it's pretty flimsy. So it makes a, a big difference just putting that cardstock on the back. And now I have my die. This is from the Label It Kit. I'm going to put it on my Genius Platform blade side up and I'm going to put my cork piece over the top of it. And then I'll put my A plate on top of that and just crank it through my Evolution die cutting tool. Now, I die cut a few of these because I'm planning on making a card set with this. So once I had die cut the first one, I just flipped it over and that um, magnetic platform kept that in place for me and just put that A plate right back on top again and die cut again. Now you can see I have all these scrap pieces of cork and so I just grabbed a few of my favorite shapes. These happen to be from the Tape It Kit from Lifestyle Crafts and also this little heart from the Nesting Hearts die set. And I'm just going to run these through my Evolution tool and die cut several of these pieces that you can see here. And I'll just save those for another project at another time. So my label shapes are ready and I can start preparing for the letter pressing of these. Now I have the navy ink from Lifestyle Crafts here and I'm just putting a pea size drop onto this ink plate. I'm not sure what the actual technical term is for this clear plastic plate, but we're gonna call it the ink plate. And then I'm gonna spend about a minute rolling back and forth over it and really smoothing that ink onto the ink plate. And once I got that all done, I brought in my letter press tool here and you can see that I already have this really beautiful flower shape mounted onto that letter press tool. I just use a little bit of scotch double sided regular tape for this and then I'm going to ink up that flower really good. Once I have it inked, I just brought in my cork shape and I'm just going to position it where I want it. And once I get it positioned right where I want it, I can close the lid down and then run it through my evolution tool. And this is just pressing that ink right down into the cork. So it's a really cool, if you've never seen letter press, I just do some research on it. It's a really fun technique. Once I saw this and saw how cool it looked, I decided that I would try a monogram as well. So this W is from the Scholastic printing plate set. And I'm just going to ink that up and do the same thing, position my cork underneath it, and then run it through my evolution tool. So you can see me just running it through here. And then when I pull it out, I have this really cool monogram shape. Now, I thought this would make a really cool teacher gift. Um, so maybe I should have used an M for Midday, but I used a W for Wiley. And I had missed a little bit of ink on these, so I just took a toothpick and put it in the letterpress ink and then rubbed over the places where I had missed it. So I wanted to show you what happened here when I didn't back these cork pieces with some cardstock because I was playing around with this. And you can see that this piece turned out quite warped and actually the letterpress plate cut through the cork in some places. And you can see when I bring in the monogram here, this piece is quite warped and would be very hard to place on the front of a card. Now I'm gonna bring in the one that is cardstock backed and you'll see them side by side and the result was just so much better and it has so much more weight to it. So now I'm going to bring in the A2 fold cards. These are A2 fold cards, letterpress paper in white and they're pre-scored, which is really nice, but I thought it would be really cool to have that label shape 
hang over the edge of the card. So I'm just cutting off a half inch off of each of these cards on just one side. So the back part of the card is actually gonna be standard size and then the front is gonna have a, a half inch cut off of it. Now when I put this on here, I just thought it would be really nice to have this leaf pattern coming out kind of from behind that letter pressed cork piece. So I am just putting it onto my card base here and I'm just kind of figuring out where I want it and then I am going to just roll it through in what's called a blind letter press or a blind emboss technique. So there's no ink on this letter press plate that I'm using here and it's just going to create a pressed in image of that leaf pattern. So I'm just getting it positioned here. Once I get it positioned just where I want it, I'll just close my tool and then run it through my evolution again. Now once I got that first one pressed in, I just kind of flipped it over to where it would be coming out the bottom and just ran it through again. And you can see that really cool leaf pattern pressed into the paper there. So I was happy with that and I decided to go ahead and attach these letter pressed cork pieces. I just used some foam adhesive to place these onto the front and I'm just going to let the right side of that hang off the edge of the card. And to get this on there straight, I'll just use my grid mat, the lines on my grid mat, to make sure that that label shape is perfectly straight. For a final finishing touch, I added a pearl to each side of this label shape. And I'm just using my Tim Holtz craft pick to kind of place those onto that label shape there. So here's a look at my completed projects. I think you could box these up and tie a ribbon around them and it would make a wonderful teacher gift. I have links to all the products I used in these projects in the description at YouTube as well as over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. And don't forget when you shop at shopwear.com, which is the We Are Memory Keepers shopping site, you can use the coupon code GLITTER and save 20% off your entire order. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fabulous day.